Next disease, we are going to talk here about peptic ulcer disease. So let's talk about peptic ulcer disease. As we all know, this can occur in two locations. One is our stomach, other is in what? Duodenum. So we can have duodenal ulcer or stomach ulcer. Imagine Ashik is having stomach ulcer. If I eat some food, so already there is ulcer there, food will come in touch. So I will have pain while eating. So I will stop eating here because I will have pain while eating. So will I eat the food? No. So I won't eat any food, so I will have weight loss. Weight loss. But when I eat some food, it takes some time to reach duodenum. Right? So what the patient think? When I am eating, no problem. But if I stop eating after two to three hours, I will have pain. So pain after two to three hours of eating. So what duodenal ulcer patient do? They think if they eat, no pain. So they keep eating, they will have what? Weight gain. But normally in ulcer case, 20 percentage patients will be asymptomatic. Asymptomatic. Actually, there are five common etiology behind this peptic ulcer disease. Five etiologies. First one can be caused by a bacteria called Helicobacter pylori. Second one, use of NSAIDs. Third one can be due to some cancer or something or malignancy. Fourth one can be something called curling ulcer. Fifth one that is called Cushing ulcer. Then it can be due to gastrinoma. Gastrinoma. Remember talking about helicobacter pylori, it will be appear like single in appearance. It will be single. Then about NSAID, it will be multiple type of ulcer and it will be a shallow ulcer. Shallow. Right? So here it will be what? A heaped type, right? In malignancy, because of cancer, right? Like some, ah, you will see some necrotic mass. Exactly saying, heaped goes here, better. Heaped type, it will be. I think better, remember about helicopter pylori, only single. Curling seen in burn patient, burn. Cushing is seen in wherever you have intracranial pressure increased. Or the person who is using steroid for a long time, steroid, or patient is in ventilator, something like that they will give. A patient in ventilator. Gastrinoma cause a refractory type of ulcer. Refractory, again and again. Refractory. Right? So these are the five common etiologies of what? Ulcer. Every time for diagnosing, the best one is endo plus biopsy. We'll be diagnosing by endoscopy and biopsy to rule out what? Cancer or to rule out helicobacter pylori. Sometimes using of NSAID will cause you ulcer, so stop it, right? If malignancy, we do resection, right? So other reason, curling, like we know the cause, so we'll go for it. So first one, very important one, we talk about Helicobacter pylori. Talking about this bacteria, they are urease positive inside the stomach. They are microphilic, they live without oxygen. As we have talked, this bacteria will cause ulcer, but in many individuals it will be asymptomatic. Mainly they can affect the duodenum, mainly 
they can cause gastric part they mainly like caring about duodenal ulcer patient will have some patient will have dyspepsia dyspepsia signs of indigestion right sometime they will cause a skin cancer of stomach we call it as maltoma in around one percentage of people they can have maltoma caused by what the lymph node cancer of stomach in uh, stomach that is caused by what helicobacter pylori actually we are diagnosing we have different methods but we have to be very careful first method is by serum serological or you can do uh, urea breath test then we can do stool antigen test stool antigen test then endoscopy and biopsy always remember among all of this the best one will be always endoscopy plus biopsy urea breath test is treated as the initial one initial one stool antigen test to know what eradication whether the bacteria go out of the body or not how much is still present right serological before and after treatment we can check but they are not commonly used remember the best one is always what endo and biopsy treatment we use something known as triple therapy it include a combination of clarithromycin an antibiotic plus a proton pump inhibitor and amoxicillin amoxicillin in some cases we can't have some amoxicillin at that time we will give them what metronidazole right that is triple if you add bismuth substrate bismuth a protective ulcer protective drug it will become quadruple therapy quadruple therapy but commonly we use what triple therapy for helicobacter pylori next one that cause ulcer recurrent ulcer that is our which one zollinger ellison syndrome zollinger ellison syndrome the pathophysiology here it is because of gastrinoma actually tumor in pancreas they are associated with a syndrome called men1 men1 along with the men1 you will have pancreatic tumor as we have said here parathyroid tumor pp parathyroid then pituitary tumor so if someone have ulcer along with parathyroid tumor remember always remember they can cause kidney stone so always associate that they can cause you kidney stone which one parathyroid tumor so please make sure whenever you get a question about zollinger ellison you think about what kidney kidney stone also because they come they are part of zollinger ellison here the patient will have a cancer weight loss chronic diarrhea and patient is going to have refractory ulcer refractory ulcer there will be a lot of acid gastrinoma gastrin so decreased what ph will be the main finding here okay now for diagnosing we check the level of gastrin we check the level of gastrin if gastrin is less than 250 it's not gastrinoma it's not the disease but if it is more than 1600 you confirm patient have gastrinoma or zollinger ellison syndrome now if you are getting a value between 250 and 1600 you will do some test called secretin stimulation test remember in ashik and you right if you inject secretin normal person what should decrease gastrin but if a person already have gastrinoma will the gastrin decrease no it will remain the same or to keep increasing so if gas secretin stimulation test is positive we again diagnose the patient have what zollinger ellison to confirm again we can do 
a somato receptor skin d somato starting receptor skin d graphy skin d graphy right so if you confirm it then do what resection of tumor treatment resection of tumor because to keep patient will have refractory ulcer every time what ulcer so once again these are the main causes of ulcer peptic ulcer remember duodenal or gastric ulcer everywhere endoscopy biopsy must be done to rule out helicobacter pylori or what cancer If the cause is nsaid stop it keep giving the patient ppi right as we talk about gerd and all if helicobacter pylori give the triple therapy so according to the pathogen or according to the course we will manage the patient so that's all about peptic ulcer disease thank you